Today we're going to make a delicious meatloaf. Our ingredients are two and a half pounds of lean ground beef, six eggs, seven slices of bread, <clears throat> about five or five cloves of fresh garlic, one and a half, I'm using one and a half white onions today, about a pound of fresh mushrooms, three stalks of celery, a half of a red bell pepper, half of a green bell pepper, salt and pepper, and also two small six ounce cans of tomato paste. Now before we start preparing our ingredients, we're going to preheat our oven to 350 degrees. We're going to chop our celery, our mushrooms, our garlic, onion, and bell peppers. Okay, now after chopping all of our ingredients, we're going to be combining them all in a large bowl. And then after the mixture is thoroughly blended, we will form it into a loaf and place it in a, a large Pyrex baking dish. Tricky part is to get all the ingredients from the bottom blend it in. Because those onions like to sit on the bottom of the bowl. Okay, now we're going to place it in a Pyrex baking dish. I've sprayed a little non-stick cooking spray in the bottom and the sides of the pan. And I'm going to put the meatloaf in there. And then we're going to form and shape it. We want it to be firm. And there's the food inspector. Does that meet your approval, Lucky? You want to leave a little space on each side of it, on the ends, because there's going to be some drippings, even though we've used lean ground beef. It will still have some some juice. You don't want it to overflow. Now, a meatloaf that is packed well will hold together better when you go to slice it. It won't fall apart. That's another reason you pack it. And the egg and the bread also help hold it together. We're going to place that in our oven, 350 degrees. 
and set the timer for 45 minutes. Okay. Now, in addition to the 45 minutes that we originally had it cooking for, I've added about 25 minutes because you want to take it out and look at it and see if it's done and it needed a little more time. So now, we're going to top it with the tomato paste. Okay, now we're going to return this to the oven for about 10 minutes. Okay, our 10 minutes have passed since we put our tomato paste topping. And we're just going to leave it to cool a few minutes before we slice it and serve it. And there you are, delicious meatloaf. And that's what's cooking.